So soft knees, more bend in the knee if you want some more support in the back, one vertebrae at a time. Good bend in the knee, chest up, then rise to protect the back. Rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Small bend in the knee, relax the neck, it's nice now. Good bend in the knee, chest up, back flat to rise. Inhale to lengthen, coming down, exhale to twist. One more. Good. So next we're coming into a squat, arms rise, hips back, knees should not go past the toe. Inhale as you're coming down, exhale, squeezing the bum cheeks. Looking for 10, I want to pause at the bottom, if you're able to, or you can come up for a rest. Another three, then the option to pause for five seconds. One more. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one, and then rise. Good. Back into good mornings. Hands by your head, hips come back. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Squeeze the bum cheeks to rise. So hinging at the hips. Excellent, good. So if you're quite tight in the hamstrings, you might only be able to go down here without sacrificing the posture curve. We don't want to see this. Just a nice flat back. Ankles, knees and hips are in alignment. One more and then we're going to bring in the twist, optional, for that thoracic mobility. Warming up the back of the shoulder if you're pulling that round two. Another four. Oh, last one. Good. Arms come up for squats. Looking for 10. Squeezing the bum cheeks to assist and that power, that's where your power's coming from. Weight should be in the heels, not the toes. You should be able to lift your toes up if you wanted to. If they're not, send your hips back further. Another three. Good, and let's pause at the bottom. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. 
few seconds recovery, feel free to grab a drink. So move into a cat cow. Palms directly under the shoulders. Exhale in the cat. Feeling the stretch in that posterior tilt. Inhale in the cow. If you're quite tight in the lower back, exaggerate more the cat stretch rather than the cow because that's more important for you. Another two. Good, child's pause, knees together, coming down. Deep breath and every exhale, you're allowing yourself to sink further into this uh, pause. Let go of the tension in your back, upper back, lower back, using that exhale. Inhale, back to the cow position. Fire hydrants all the way up and all the way down. Rib cage tucked in, belly button into spine and distributing your weight evenly over the left and right. So try not to dump in that hip that's stabilizing you. It stays nice and level, your hips. Looking for eight and then we're gonna pulse at the top for eight if you're able to. Or you can rest. Three, two, foot's coming away, two, one. Good, let's pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Working the sides of the glutes there. Same again on the other side, eight and eight. Again, try not to dump in that stabilizing leg all your weight. Three, two, one, pulse, eight, seven, six, four, three, one, good, and releasing child's pose. We're going to go a little bit wider and open up the inner hips, inner thighs. play with time under tension next and throughout this class we're going to add time under tension so when the muscles under tension for longer rather than coming in and out for a rep it's harder more fibers are torn and uh, more strength gained opposite arm to opposite leg in the bird dog i'm going to hold for 15 normally we'd hold for 10 we're progressing it making sure it's challenging and you're getting benefit out of it deep breaths can you connect to that lower core here can you feel that connection below the belly button Breathe, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Going no higher than hip and shoulder height, same again. The other side, 15. How does this side feel? Do you feel it anywhere yet? Breathe. Excellent, safe rehab exercises for any balances, back pain. Three, two, one, release once more on either side. Connect to that core. You might feel a little bit of aching or burning just below in the lower back, around the hip area. Three, two, one, release. That's how you know it's working. Tune into it and notice where you're feeling it. Into the other, last time. Three, two, one, and release. Good. I'm going to come on to the sides of our stomach next. New exercise I was learning about called um, side plank clamshells. 
really big fan in the physio world. So coming up into the side plank, first of all, elbow directly under your shoulder, clamshell. So what you're doing here is you're overloading the sides of the, uh, the glutes, searching for any weaknesses, looking for 15, opening the hips as much as you can. Really good for the piriformis, it's a good all rounder for hip strength and stability and back. Highlights any issues as well if you fatigue easy with this one. Making sure your hips are pushed forwards and your hips are stacked on top of each other. Three, two, one, and release. Next, we're going to go into side plank dips. So reset, make sure your elbows are under your shoulder still. This is a shoulder exercise as well for strengthening. We're going for 15, crunch and curve in the sides of the stomach on the top. Pause for squeeze. 15, or as many as you can. Ten, another five. Two, hopefully starting to feel a burning or cramp in the sides of the stomach. A few seconds rest, you can shake off that elbow, arm, shoulder. Then we're going to hold for 10 seconds for that same position. So we've progressed it, so it's harder, so we're building muscle. Inhale and rise. 10, 9, 8. Place the weight on the sides of your stomach. Squeeze it. 3, 2, one and release bottom knee comes forward top knee back let's stretch it out for any stiffness around the pelvis inhale to rise exhale over relax in the neck shoulders down away from your ears every exhale just lean in with your weight into the position can you get your arm directly over your head at all? Inhale to rise. I'm going to do the same on the other side now. Because we've progressed it quite a bit on one side, we're going to swap over onto the other. Starting with side plank clamshells. So elbow directly under the shoulder. I'm going for 15. Let's see how you get on this side. So you should be all in one line from your knee all the way up to your chest. Another three, two, one, and release. Good. Reset. Then we're going to side plank dips as many as you did on the first side, or 15. Let's go. Don't forget that squeeze and crunch, the curve at the top. Fourteen, one more. Fifteen, come out, reset. Shake off that shoulder for the last 10 seconds. Hold. Or as many as you did the first time, we'll stretch it out. Deep breaths. Let's go. Nine, eight, five, four, two, one. Release. Good. Let's stretch it out. Bottom knee forward. Inhale to rise. Exhale over. Trying your best to bring your hand directly over your head. Testing that shoulder mobility. <sighs> Inhale, coming back. I'm going to do that once more, either side, and then moving on. Side plank clamshell. So we did 15 of these last time. I'm happy with 10. But if you want it to match the 15, that's totally up to you. Ten. 
10. Fourteen. One more. Fifteen. Reset that shoulder. Shake it off. And back into fifteen. We're looking for it or as many as you can. We've not progressed this much. So if you only want to do six, eight, that's absolutely fine. Seven. It's a lot of weight on that shoulder joint. Another five. Exhale, coming down, two, one, burning the shoulder, good, shake off that shoulder, so you can have your arm on the floor to help you up, that's absolutely fine as well, 10 second hold, are we ready, let's get into it, 10, 7, 6, keeping that crunch in the side, 3, 2, 1, and release, Let's stretch it out, inhale to rise. Let's go a little bit further if we can over. Exhale to increase and improve flexibility. Always works well with strength training that we've just done. Trying to move that arm a little bit further over if you can. Sit bones on the mat. Inhale to rise. Last side. Clamshells, side plank clamshells. So this is of course the time under tension in the sides of the abs, holding that position. Pushing the hips out, so you're in a straight line. Trying to keep them hips up. Three, two, one. Release. Shake off that shoulder if you need to. And then into your final up to 15 side plank dips or as many as you did the last time. Seven. Another five if you can, four, two, all the way down, one more, good, reset that shoulder, give it a shake off, burny, burny, then to the last ten seconds, hold, let's go, ten, nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, and release, well done, stretch it out, inhale, Let's move over a little bit further this time round on this side. I'm blowing kisses. Trying to push a little bit further over, not forcing it, just leaning into it. Relax your neck. Excellent. Grab a drink, well done. It's never fun, the side stuff. But definitely a bin of benefits that you get out of him. He's going to love this next thing I've got planned. <laughs> you know, I know a Pilates instructor who brings like little shots of gin and stuff at the end of a class. <laughs> <laughs> okay so we need a lot of the downward dog for this one there's the option of going to three-legged dog to progress it working on balance and opening up the hips we get very tight in the pelvis so I'm new to this when the right, anyway we'll just try it <laughs> inhale to downward dog so feel free to stay here and come in and out of these poses as much as you need to. Relax the neck. Left leg comes up into, um, with a good bend in the knee and sending it right back into three-legged dog. Good bend in the knee, opens up the hip flexors nicely. From here, 
we're concentrating. On the next inhale, you're going to send your left leg back on the outer side of your left arm. One, Katie. Excellent. You can bring that back knee down on the floor. Excellent. Deep breaths as we settle in. Keep in tension the ankle, so don't want you to dump in the ankle because that'll hurt. You're going to bring your knee and your weight onto the sides of your foot, opening up the inner thigh and hip. And you can untuck those toes. Deep breath. So everything's going to tense up when you first come into this because your body's thinking, what the is she doing? So bear with it, deep breath as you settle in your body will start to let go. So notice where you're tense. Try to actively relax and switch off these muscles. So when we're more stressed, your body tenses up even more, reducing flexibility, and that's when we tend to injure ourselves. So every exhale, feel yourself letting go. Now the yoga instructor I was watching, she had a forehead to the floor. So if you can do that, I'm joking. <laughs> so, Something to aim for, if we ever get there. But if you can bring... <laughs> we need four blocks each. <laughs> so if you wanted to use a block, if you've got one, there's one on the table as well. I am going to get more, I promise. I keep forgetting. But you can bring your elbows further down to the floor or use a block on one of your elbows. Just to allow yourself... Excellent. Look at Alicia. Well done. Inhale. Exhale. So feeling some weight on the back hip flexor as well as likely. Shouldn't be painful. Again, come in and out of this as much as you need to. It should be like just discomfort, which is annoying, but try and ignore it just like you're burning with the uh, strength training. The next inhale, tuck your foot under. Uh, hands flat again. I'm going to send that left leg back into three-legged dog again. <laughs> coordination needed definitely and the next exhale coming into pigeon with that same leg sitting on that bum cheek and we'll settle in to that position so good so it's meant to be done really elegantly but <laughs> <laughs> We're all friends here. <laughs> Just allow yourself to settle in and let go. But not don't actually let go, Claire. <laughs> Inhale, coming out into downward dog, and we'll paddle out the feet just to settle in and notice how our hips and glutes feel on that left side. Hopefully, a little bit more mobile, a bit different, stretched. Let's see how we get on with the right side. I'll send that right leg up and over. Good bend in the knee, squeezing the bum cheek. Right leg comes out the outer right hand, and then you can bring that left knee down on the mat. Settle in here, untucking the toes and the back leg, and come onto the sides of that right foot, pushing your knee out to open that right hip. Excellent. Straighten that back leg more for more hip flexor stretch. Good. If you can come onto your elbows on the next exhale, feel free, or you can use a block. Again, every exhale, trying to let go of a little bit more tension somewhere. It's so subtle. 
Two more deep breaths. The next inhale, tucking the toes under, three legged dog, sending good bend in the knee, stretch into pigeon, down, straight leg. If you feel yourself getting pulled out of the center, because ideally you should be in the center of your mat, then you've got a tight glute like me. Or deep breaths, settle in, and try and sink, sink, sink into the mat. The more you learn to relax and to release tension on every exhale, the more flexibility that you're gonna get over time. Two more deep breaths in this, using the belly on the inhale, pushing the belly out. Excellent. Inhale back to downward dog. Paddle that out and see how that feels on the right side now. Relaxing your neck between your biceps. Good. Next we're going to come into the frog pose. So nice and wide with the knees and the ankles wider than the knees. Feet faced out and you're coming down as far down as you can go. So if you can get your bum to the floor, excellent hip mobility. I can't. So it's that mild discomfort in the inner groin. Try and just sit with it. Shouldn't be painful or pins and needles or twingy. If it is, you've just gone a little bit too far, so come out of it slightly. Two more deep breaths, using the belly. Excellent, carefully bringing those knees closer together. Grab a drink, we're gonna come onto our backs now for time under tension, abs. So first time under tension exercise, we'll wake up that lower core if you have trouble connecting to it. So legs up in tabletop, no curve in your lower back at all. Rib cage tucked in, belly button into spine, your roll of your abdominals is to push against your back, keeping it completely against the floor, imprinting into the mat. Have a poke around, make sure underneath your belly button you've got tension, get to know how that feels when it's switched on, concentrate. Deep breaths. Then we're gonna place, so you can stay here, or hands next to your head. We're gonna come up for one, two, then slowly release. Time under tension for two seconds. Up, one, two, slowly release for 10. Let's 
squeeze in as hard as you can. Row three. One more. And before you rest, it's going to come up, hold for ten, nine, eight, let it burn, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release, well done. Inhale, arms rise. Using the diaphragm and the ribs, expand as you inhale, exhale slower through the mouth. One more. Good. Next, a good bend in the knees, paddling out one at a time. Keeping that back flat against the floor, imprinted completely. Rib cage tucked in. Have a poke around on the side of the stomach as well. Make sure there's tension. Get to know how it feels. As many as you can, all 16. Only go down as far as what your back doesn't lift off the mat. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good. Inhale. Using that diaphragm. Next, legs are out as far as you can. If you can get them just off the floor without your back lifting at all, that's great. But just come as far up as you can keep that control. We're going to hold that position, time under tension exercise, keeping your back completely flat. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, well done. Inhale. more. Good. Arms and legs up into straight position as straight as you can. Into a dead bug hold. So if you're not sure if you're connecting to that lower core, try bringing them hips up off the floor just to check. So you're keeping your tailbone tucked under, rib cage tucked in as you're breathing normally. Imagine someone's punching in the stomach and you're bracing as hard as you can. Ten. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And release. Excellent. Inhale. One more. Good. This time we're going to do crisscross, polite as crisscross, opposite arm to opposite knee. Looking left and right, bringing that one shoulder blade off the floor. The more left and right you look, the more sides of the stomach's engaged as well. Another ten. Six, four, three, two, and release. Good. Inhale. <coughs> One more.
Good. Next, we're going to do uh, arms out to the side, window wipers, knees up, coming down and over. You can straighten your legs a little bit more if you want. Adding load to that lower core. Enjoying the stretch in the side of the stomach and back. Bring your knees up to your belly button. As many as you can, all 12. The slower you do it, the harder it's going to be. Well done. Inhale. Shifting your hips over to the right and your knees over to the left. Four spinal twist, and you can look the opposite way and settle in. And you can extend that top leg and hold on to the back of it with the other arm. If that feels okay, deep breath, exhale, settle, sink and melt into the mat. Let go of any tension in your glutes. And the sides of your abs, your ribs. Two more deep breaths. The next inhale, carefully taking your time to swap over. You can be quite stiff and treat every side differently as well. So shift your hips over to the left, knees over to the right. See if you can do the same on this side or maybe it's a little bit less or more. Settle in first before increasing the stretch. If you want to increase the stretch, straighten that leg and grab hold of it. Five deep breaths. One more deep breath. Carefully coming out, lying in Shavasana, or you can get your block. And if you want to increase the stretch around the hip area, you can place your block underneath your pelvis and you're trying to relax. And you feel the hip flexors open up and tension being released in the pelvis area. You might feel it in your lower back as well, it's a bit of a back bend. If you're just in Shavasana, deep breaths. Practicing the yogic breath work. So inhale, belly rises, then your ribs and then your chest. And then on the exhale, your chest goes down along with your ribs and then your belly last. But making a conscious effort to use and expand the rib cage on the inhale. Pause at the top for slowly exhaling. Two more like that. Five 
Removing the block if you've used the block. On the next inhale, bringing your knees into your chest. Hug and roll side to side. Keeping your tailbone on the mat. Roll it over to the side and using your hands to come up to the seated position. Feel free to sit in any comfortable position. I'm going to sit in the lotus pose. You can use your block to get into a deeper stretch in your glutes to get used to that. And practice some pranayama, box breathing. Okay, so arms just resting on your knees, untucking the pelvis so it's not, tuck, the tailbone's not tucked under, sitting tall, chest proud, and settling into this position. And just starting to observe how your breath feels. Again, practicing that yogic breath work. Feel free to close the eyes and just give your brain a rest. And inhale, pushing your belly out like a big Buddha's belly. And the inhale along with rising your diaphragm, your ribs and your chest. And on the exhale, reversing it in three stages. So your chest falls first, then your ribs and then your belly empties. Inhale, one, belly rises. Two, ribs, three, chest. Exhale, three, two, one. Exhale for a count of five, your own count. Remembering to sit tall, it's difficult at first. Your body soon gets used to these things. Count of five for an inhale, pause for three. Exhale for six, your own count. Every time you inhale, you're breathing in positivity and good things. And on the exhale, you're pushing out any negativity. Anything that anyone said to you this week or last week, you're getting rid of it away from you. Knowing that you should be so proud of yourself for attending this class and doing something from the body and mind. And on the next exhale, <clears throat> if you wanted to practice a humming, just letting go, feel free. This helps stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. So inhale. Mm. Two like that was excellent again. Mm. One more. Thank you very much for coming this morning.